Today I'm going to show you guys um, a version of, I guess, the mermaid fingernails acrylics. I've already prepped my nails and applied the worst tips I've ever found in my entire life. They were in the shape of stiletto. They were horrible. I didn't think I was ever going to get them filed. But I did. You want to make sure that your ball's not too wet so it doesn't slide down into your cuticle area. Press it down at an angle to the cuticle. This nail I'm going to do all one color. Still a tiny bit dry, but the remainder of the liquid in the brush finishes. Let it sit for a couple of seconds. Touch it over to the side. And slowly scooch it. to the tip so it's tapered. So I made that super thin. I'm going to make a tiny bit thicker by just adding a little bit more acrylic and brushing it up the nail plate. You want to apply the acrylic so you have as little filing as possible to do. So that's all going to be all one color. The next one I'm going to do a custom color. You know what? We're going to make some little air bubbles in these so before this dries. I want this to look like. Bubbles, just little air bubbles are coming to the surface. That'll be fun. This next one. See a tiny bit dry, but see how the ball absorbs the liquid that's still in the brush. I just made this color. Some pigments. My dogs are eating. Can you hear them? Thank you. 
is a little bit too green. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of this with a teeny bit of that. color this looks like all by itself. Now see how I made it all bubbly? I want to show you guys something. Take the tip of your brush, brush at an angle. Slightly press it along the edges. Don't let your brush touch the nail yet can't get it wet or the acrylic will lose its properties of adhesion. way too runny.
I use reflections. Now watch the reflection. Now it looks pretty good except right there. You can see something weird, like it's not even. And if I turn it this way, you can see I've got a little hole right there. Light and dust are your friends when it's time to tell the shape of your nails. Smash that one. I think I smashed it. Not really digging that green. But nothing I can do. I'll be okay. So now, this one is called Dare to be Dazzling. It's kind of white, but it still has sparkles in it. We're going to fill up our little ear bubbles with that. really neat. Okay, so I'm not crazy about that, so I'm going to put scales on that when I'm finished. So this one's still drying, not ready. So pull back your skin from the acrylic, you can see a teeny bit touched there, so we'll file that. Start the sides, now go real long and beautiful. We want the acrylic to look like it's growing right out of the skin. Earlier when I said that the reflection and dust is your friend, so we're going to use this dust to be able to tell if there's any divots. So you're going to sit your nail file here and we're just going to go across so our shape is nice and perfect. Thank <laughs> you. 
see how there's a bunch of dust still gathered down there? And you know that it's not blended when that happens. So keep filing. See all that dust that's stuck in there? Keep filing until the dust is gone. See? Now it's blended. See all that dust? It is stuck. So just keep filing. Until it's gone. it off. Take a little bit of polish remover. See there's still some there.
sunshine. This is a little calligraphy brush, or it's not a brush, pen. Oops, wrong nail. All right, so center my nail. It's easy to do on somebody else. You can balance your hands properly. Drawing sideways is not easy. Oh, 
see how they're blended. You can't, there shouldn't be any lock, but they should look like they're growing right out of the cuticle. There's our little ear bubbles. Can't do anything too gaudy, my clients will flip out. They know that is not me. Okay, so this is the color Staying Alive that I did to make the air bubbles. It's more white. Um, you Should Be Dancing, Foxy Lady, and Midnight Hour are the colors that I use to do all of the rest of the acrylic, except this one green one, which I made. And I actually made it with You Should Be Dancing, and then I added... Tiny bit of green, two, two green pigments, these two green pigments. So if you have any even crushed eyeshadow laying around at home, you can make your own acrylic colors with anything. <laughs> 